if you say that you really do love God, then why have you used God's name in vain? You know what I mean. Instead of using a four-letter word, you use God's name instead. That is an insult to God. It's called blasphemy. If you ever use God's name in vain, then you are guilty and you need the Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, you must love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor is your fellow man. I wonder, do you really love your fellow man? Then why did you lie to him? That's right. Every one of us has lied to someone. And if you say that you have never lied, then you are lying again. So you are guilty. And you need to turn to Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Did you ever take something that did not belong to you? Then you are guilty. And you need the Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. Are you a fornicator? That's an old word, but it means you're having sex even though you are not married. If you have done that, then you are guilty, and you need to turn to Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Are you an adulterer? It may surprise you, but Jesus said, if you even look at someone lusting for them, then you have already committed adultery with that person in your mind and in your heart. If you have done that, then you are guilty and you need the Savior, Jesus Christ. Once a young man said to me, I admit it, I did all those things, but at least I never murdered anybody. So I asked the young man, are you certain that you never murdered anyone? He was surprised and said, of course I'm certain. I would know if I murdered someone. Then I told him, but Jesus said, if you ever hated someone, then you did murder that person in your mind and in your heart. Now let me ask you, are you murdering me in your thoughts right now? It's very important. You must understand that God's standard of judgment is so high. God will not only judge your actions, God will even judge your thoughts and your heart. God is reading your mind right now. God is looking into your heart right now. <laughs> Who can pass such a strict judgment? No one can pass that test. That's why the Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. That means there are no exceptions. That includes you and me too. That is why we all need Jesus for the forgiveness of our sins. Do you think it is a sin to be rich? Uh, Jesus once said, It's easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter heaven. That is why some people think it is a sin to be rich. But if you continue reading, you will see that Jesus is not condemning being rich. It says, His apostles were astonished, and they asked Him, Master, if that is true, then how is it possible for anyone to be saved? Jesus answered, With man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ said it is impossible for anyone to be saved 
based on their own efforts, you need an intervention from God. You require a supernatural intervention from God on your behalf. And that is exactly what God has done for you. The Bible says, God loved the world so much, that's you, that He gave His only begotten Son, that's Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus to suffer and die on a cross so your sins could be forgiven. And anyone who believes on Jesus, that means anyone who trusts Jesus, who depends on Jesus, who relies on Jesus for their salvation, that person will not perish in hell. No, they will have eternal life in heaven. So far I have explained that every one of us have sinned and no sin will be allowed in heaven. I hope you understand the problem facing every one of us. Because of our sin, we cannot get into heaven. That leaves one other place. The Bible says, the wages of our sin is death and hell. It says, the guilty would be condemned into a lake and furnace of fire. That is hell, and hell is real. I know that some people pretend that hell does not exist, and I suspect that most people certainly are hoping that hell does not exist. Someone once told me that their God would never send them to hell. If that is what you think, then you are correct. Your God would not send you to hell because he couldn't, because your God does not exist. You have imagined him. You have actually created your own false God and your own set of rules. You've made a false God to suit yourself, a false God that will tolerate a sinful life. Someone once confessed to me that they had done a lot of bad deeds. They said that they had lied, stolen, hated. On and on they, they went, listing their sins. But then they said, they have also done some good deeds. So they asked me, won't my good deeds help me on Judgment Day? Listen carefully. The answer to that question is no. The Bible says you cannot earn heaven by doing good deeds. That is so important, I will repeat it. You cannot earn heaven by doing good deeds. Otherwise, you could go to the judgment and boast to God. You could tell God that He owes you.